Hello there, everyone. My name is Shimmy.exe, and, uh, God damn it, I hope to God that my fucking mic is picking up my voice, because if it's not, I will be extremely pissed off. So, that being said, if it is picking up my voice, we're gonna do an entire video worth of a video game called, what is it called? It's called Gone home it is a horror game and i just got butterflies in my stomach just saying those words because i fucking hate video games and i am a giant pussy when it comes to those things and also uh as you can see my giant big ass fat ass head is also in the top left instead of the bottom right so that's a step up in quality now but as most things, my mic is probably fucking up right now. So, so one thing gets a step ahead in quality while one thing takes a step back in quality. That's just my life. Anyway, let's just play the game before anything else in my life comes down in complete another f fucking shambles, please. So, uh, welcome to Gone Home, guys. Uh, I have no idea what this game what this game is about. That is really loud by the way all right this game came out a few years ago uh probably 2000 something some i don't know but i'm just getting around now to playing it and i am regretting every life choice up until this point because i hate horror games and i hate scary things in general and I'm gonna hate everything. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> this takes a really long time to load, though. It do. I gotta say. There's a common trend with... Oh, did it crash? Did the game crash? Really? No. The game didn't... The game didn't crash, did it? Oh, no, it didn't. I hear. I hear music. Oh, cool. Okay. Cool. At least that's working. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. Fuck! I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Scared the shit out of me. Gone home. Okay. So, am I going to be playing as the woman talking on the phone? Because that would be interesting. I've always wanted to be... I am not going to finish that sentence. <laughs> June 7th, 1995. 1.15am. Okay. What is the significance of this date in question? Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh my god, that's... That is really dark and... Oh my god, the sensitivity is... Hang on. Hang on. Oh yeah, I have a, cer I have a certain mouse that I can actually, like, um, change the sensitivity on the fly. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so I can change it. Alright, so, Caitlin Greenbrier, Portland, 1995, alright, it's really dark out here, man, Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible, please, please don't be, go digging around trying to figure out where I am, I don't want mom and dad to know we'll see each other again someday don't be worried i love you sam let's go digging around the house this seems rather peculiar oh interesting it's locked i'm guessing there's a key around here somewhere hello anyone on the property 
open the fucking door. Apparently this is supposed to be my house or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. I didn't see that lamp. Oh, the key. <coughs> the key. Let's get the key. House key added to backpack. Perfect. I don't... Mm, I don't want to go inside. Let's go inside. Oh, okay, hello. Caitlin Greenbrier. It's my passport. I got it to go on... I got it to go on my Europe trip. Passport agency... Okay. So... I was born in 1973. That makes her... 26? No, I don't know. Alright. I'm a man! Let's get in this fucking bitch. Oh, wow. Great atmosphere. Really good atmosphere, guys. Bathroom? Only good things happen in bathrooms. Yeah, I'm just, just gonna turn that off. You know what? I don't like this. In fact, I kind of just hate it. And you know what? I need to get a friend real quick. Just hang on a second. Everyone say hello to Leo. He's on my shoulder. He's going to help me out on this adventure. Because I'm too much of a pussy to do it on my own. It's just a game. Come on. Hello? Is anyone on the phone? Can I call 911? Please? I want some protection, please, because I don't like this at all. I don't... I feel like people are, like, watching me everywhere I go around here. Throw one everywhere. Okay. Uh, Sam, Katie, mom, and dad. Am I Katie? Or because Sam... Sam wrote the note on the door, right? So I'm guessing I'm Katie then. I don't like how that happens. Also, I don't have the most powerful... Oh... Oh, I don't like this. Long... <sighs> Press 2? Oh, okay. So we had, this is kind of like a Resident Evil 7 sort of vibe. Alright. What's this? Welcome, new student. We hope that you are excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School, as we are. Be sure to... What the fuck was that? What the fuck? Leo, what? You hear that? You hear that, little buddy? You, fu you fucking hear that shit? That was some scary shit, dude. Please be sure to bring the following with you on the first day of classes so that you can get right onto the swing of things. One sturdy folder with pockets for each of your six class periods. One lined notebook w per period. Or one large notebook with class divided sections. At least six pens, blue or black ink, and six... And six pencils, one box of colored pencils, a standard combination lock for your assigned...
You guys heard that, right? You guys heard that, right? Fuck you! Fuck this game! Fuck this... Fuck this game! Fuck this fucking game already! Fuck you! Oh, please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready. Yeah, fuck you. Sam's journal. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Okay. So, the Psycho House Girl is what you're known by. First day of school, added to backpack. Okay. That's cool. I don't... I don't want to go into these rooms. I just don't. It. I. I. I'm actually like. It's actually like. I have like um. A fear of empty spaces. I don't know why. I've just had it since I was a kid. It's weird. Like the back rooms, you guys remember that? The back rooms? That that's like my fucking worst fear in the world. It is so unbelievably weird for me. Okay, so that's locked. I don't mm, I hate this so much. Fuck you. Fuck this game. I'm turning it down. I'm turning this game down. Oh, okay. Lights are on now. You can't scare me with lights on. It, things can only be scary if it's in the dark, right? That's, that's quote, that's Shimmy's quote of the day. Things can only be scary if they're in the dark. Hey, uh, can I get a nice, uh, little, uh, whiskey there? Need to calm the nerves. Don't even worry about it. I may be 18. Oh, but it's all right. Somehow I always knew that someday we see through. Oh, damn. Now that it's happened, I just My channel's can't gonna get taken down. I've done the best I could. You keep from feeling blue Can't get you off my mind What is Okay, March 8th March 8th is my birthday March 8th, 1976 Dear Mr. Greenbrider Okay I wrote to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-up to The Accidental Pariah. Despite the low sales of The Accidental Savior, we went ahead with the publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first and so our stewardship of the series must end here. It has been a pleasure working as your publisher and we wish you I thought I thought that shit was a thing. Oh daddy, tell me why. Yeah, I need to I need to turn that off cuz it's going to it's going to get my channel taken down. Hello, dark part of the room that I don't want to go towards because it's creepy. Hello? Oh! This is a thing? 
all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Okay. Press C. Okay. Okay. I'm getting the hang of this game. This is pretty cool. This is a severe weather warning. Severe the weather, weather warning. All right. Reports high winds and torrential rain Hello. conditions affecting the following counties: Austin Sam County, Sam thought this County, might help Don Dad. County, Making friends. Oh no. Residents Making friends, even feeling in lonely. This is a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake Blood to make friends. Never worry again. Never worry again about ma having friends to spend time with. This book will teach you to make friends even when you're shy. Damn. That's sad. I mean, I I have trouble making friends, so I can relate with this. You know that feeling. Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Alright. That's pretty dope. Not gonna lie to you, though. This is a severe All right. The Northwest weather <sighs> high wind You're heaving at the edge of the world. Samantha, Greenbrier, uh... Great story, the, tur the Turtle People, Part 1. Uh, Captain Aladra Al looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at the horse island. The first mate said, The first mate said, Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along, along the side. Captain Black himself came out the, bla the deck of the black ship. He yelled to the Al Allegra, Yar, Yar, never gonna find the edge. There ain't no paradise, and your father were a liar. Captain Asbury yelled back, then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, we'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Algeras, Al I'll just say Algeras, Algeras ship got away. Now west, she said. And the ship sailed towards the sunset. That's a good, su that's a good story. There better not be anyone standing next to me when I turn my head. Thank you. Blood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Why is this, um, I just realized, if this TV's on, then that means that someone's been here recently. That's great. I want pizza now. I'm hungry. Ooh. Hauntings and poltergeists. This is a severe weather I don't like what that implies. Weather, sir. Okay. I think the only other place for me to go is upstairs. I really fucking hate this place. This is so fucking creepy. Let's go upstairs. Hello? Hello? I am... Hello? Hello? Is this even a horror game? I feel like there's gonna be a jump scare. Is this... This is a mansion. I'm gonna close the door. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is Sam's room. And why? Why am I here? Why is this character here? This is so fucking creepy. Grab Emery board. Oh, oh, it glows. That's cool. Fuck you. I'm going to throw that on the ground now. 
Oh, more light. Brilliant. More light means no more... Uh, that joke was going to go someplace really amazing and it went absolutely nowhere. Oh. Well. Uh. Oh. Wait. One. Zero. One. Seven? Fuck. Oh, yo. Dude. I, I just realized. It was one of these things. Alright, hang on, hang on. Oh, that was pussy shit. What the f- Come on. You can do it. Come on, dude. That- <sighs> You suck, dude. Hello, my friending. Grab board game. Cool. The King's Labyrinth, Chapter 2, Frying Threads. Captain Alzbra, still in her flowing skirt and sturdy jerkin, descended her single shining thread into the lower cavern of the labyrinth. She and her first mate, on their own now, grew closer to their goal, the throne room of the Denimortal King of the Island. The first mate slid down the down, slid down the line onto the stone floor. She swept, shockingly. Don't... Bone dust from the front of, the, of her canvas trousers. Okay, it looked up at Algebra. The silken thread nigh unbreakable, thanks to the enchanted moths that inhabited, that inhabited the island trail behind. Leading their way back to the entrance from further into the labyrinth, the moaning began to echo. The moaning grew louder and clearer. It turned into the words from some ancient language they could not understand. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? It's freaking me out. The hairs on Captain Algebra's arms stood on end. She looked back at the first mate, whose eyes remained locked on the blackness of the passage for a moment. Too long before noticing the captain's gaze, the first mate nodded silently ahead. Following the king's ghostly song deeper and deeper into the labyrinth, they came upon a rocky gap spilling forth otherworldly blue light. The great basin of the dead king's throne room lie below. The skeleton of the rotten, the rotted robes the king was hunched over the blue board topping. His royal scepter. So, this is Sam's room, man. I'm having a hard time following this story. Grab Steggy, Steli? All right. Interesting. Oh. Hello. Oh. I I don't like that shadow at all. Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it. So either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change, but I can just ditch Ditch out on it, probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Did you guys hear a voice? Did you guys hear that shit? Or, or, or was that just me? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, it's... It is pretty hardcore, I guess. I'm, uh... Wait gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle so that's kind of hilarious also something about cheeseburgers is is important Todd wants to see it again 9 7 15 okay don't barf uh, all right see you then yeah this is about what the 90s was like I didn't I wasn't I was born in 2002 so um I, well, I don't know what the 90s was like, but I'm guessing this is what the 90s was like. Is this a door? Oh yeah, it is a door. Hello? Um... Hello? I'm gonna... I'm gonna close that. Uh... Lonnie rules. 
Is that blood? Or is that red paint? Is that blood? What? Oh, f Semi permanent hair color, not tested on animals. Fucking hell. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. All it's right. pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited, and the moment was gone. Huh. Is this, is this actually, is this a horror game, or is this like, because this doesn't feel like a horror game. Journals. This, this is like, this is, this is getting me, this is getting me in my feels, dude. This isn't, this isn't making me feel scared, this is getting me in my feels, dude. Okay, that was scary, because I was, I was, I felt like someone was going to jump out at me, but, you know. I feel like this character's going, like, on a trip down memory lane. Alright, let's keep on going. Oh, this looks like the master bedroom. Close the fucking door, thank you. Okay, um... Oh, I'm getting vibes. I'm a, I'm a big watcher of Markiplier. I like watching Markiplier a lot. And he, he played a game called Visage. Don't you pull that shit. Don't you fucking pull that shit. More light means less death. That's fucking Jimmy's. Oh, it's a Bible. Fuck you, game. Okay. That's about what I expected. What does that say? Butch, Cassidy, the... and the Sundance kids, fugitive, all the president's men. Alright. Oh, I thought... I thought that was a person. Shit. This game's setting me on edge, dude. Water color technique, florals, and still lives. Are you a watercolorist looking to improve your skills? Okay, I don't think that has anything to do with anything. Is this... I don't think there's anything in here. What is this? Um... Oh! Alright, that's kind of creepy. Can you, can you not? Can you not? I'm already, I'm already on edge. I'm already on edge, buddy. You're making it worse. Take your time. I'm glad to have. Don't 
the fuck is that? The fuck? You want to show yourself? You you want to come? You want to come in here? Cause uh, I don't I don't take too kindly to intruders, boy. You know? I don't, I don't like random sounds in my house. This is my house, right? I do believe it is my house. So if it is my house, a trespassing, you're gonna get a. I'm sorry. Did you just did Did you just make another random fucking sound in the middle of my monologue? Are you fucking serious? Are you that fucking stupid? All right. Well, guys, uh, that's all we have for right now, but, um, next episode is probably going to be the scary shit, um, because I'm pretty sure this is a horror game, but I'm not too sure. I have to look it up. Uh, thank you everybody so much for watching, and if you do enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I, I, I'm almost to 200 subscribers. Um, so yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching.